How you been, man? I've been good. I've Looks been good. like you're here back in San Diego again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Excellent. So, uh, should we start with our homeworks? Oh, you want some work? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. So, you were supposed to bring me the evidences in book format, I think you said, right? Okay. Uh, of the number of slaves that you claimed and names and documentations for the Prophet Sallallahu I do not remember that. You want, oh. you want me to give the names? You forgot? I think it's uh, no, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. You, 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 you forgot your homework? I do not remember that. Oh, you want man. me to look up the names? I, I know you several made of them. A, there's, there's you made a claim. Black, how many, how many did you claim were the, the Rafa had how many slaves? Uh, provisions of the afterlife, I think he get, I think names 27 of his slaves. So you said that he had 27 slaves, not through war, right? This was your claim. And you were... The, 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 was, was, he, was, he, was he at war with, with, with Africa during the time? Uh, there were people that were taken through war by different tribes of Africa before Islam that were given. Yes, that is true. But you were supposed to bring that evidence. That was your I homework. You remember that. I do not remember that. What did I say? I said, oh, wait, I said I was going to show up. Yes, with that evidence. We have it on tape. We have it on video. I mean, not tape anymore. on VHS or anything. Really? You don't remember your homework, huh? No. Oh, man, you weren't a good student, were you? No. All right. The homework you had assigned me, which I did remember and I brought, is that... So you actually showed up with something? With my homework. With some as notes. every oh, time. That's interesting. Wait, 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 wait. Every time you've come out here, I have brought you books to bring you evidences. I brought you Ibn Kathir. I brought you... I showed the... Yeah, but you keep, Hold you on. keep let twisting me, it. Let me finish, right? Everything. When I brought you the actual evidence to show that Ibn Abbas's quote was not in the book that you claimed, you then blamed it on Webster. But I because that was you, a lie. I, it was not. That was a total lie. Really? How was that? That was a complete lie. How was that? Okay. So Did I not bring you the book and ask you to show it to you me? Brought you, didn't me have Ibn, it? you brought me Ibn Kathir. Okay. So what, what, is that, what does that have to do with anything? That's Ibn Kathir that you were mentioning. No, listen, listen, listen. So, quick, okay. quick, quick, quick recap. The verse says, Allah created every living thing out of water. Uh -huh. Right? And you said this means that uh, the fundamental component, you can correct me if I'm misrepresenting something here, you said that the fundamental no. component of living things is, is water. Okay. So I pointed out a bunch of verses which say that man's created of clay, man's created of sure. dust, and this can't mean that, that the fundamental component is. And, and I explained to you mm -hmm. that when we look at the word ma, mm -hmm. according to the hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu it has different meanings. Yeah, that's fine. Some of them, no, no, hold on, not that's fine and try to skip over it, bro. Take it easy, right? Mm -hmm. When Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Ta'ala says, وَجَعَلْنَا كُلُّ شَيْءٍ مِنَ الْمَاءِ that we made everything living out of water. This is explained that this is the component of what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made uh, insan and, and all living things through, right? But when Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa said that when the ma is re released, then you have to make ghusl. Here the reference is to sperm, to semen, right? Because of the hadith of the Prophet that explains the ayat that man, when it came from ma, meaning sperm, right? And I brought you these evidence to show you because a word is used in context. And that's why we have things like Ibn Kathir. And I brought you Ibn Kathir to show you the references for that, right? I quoted Ibn Abbas. Okay. All right. I what, quoted Ibn what? Abbas, who okay. gave an interpretation that right. when it talks about the water, okay. it's talking about the fluids of the male and female, right? Because Which water are we talking about? In, in created everything from water. Okay. In the website I was using, okay. they gave that quotation from Ibn Abbas, okay. saying that when it says that everything's created from water, it's okay. the same thing as, as, as his interpretation when it says that man is created from water, talking about the fluids of the, of the okay. male and female. So then the, you the, took, the, because hold according on. to Islam, Allah creates everything in pairs, Hold right? on, hold on, hold on. So you took a, a reference that was... Because that website, you don't know who made it. So you are going to a random Googled website. Right, and I'm just saying Shia because the name, right? But whether Shia, Sunni, or whoever, people need to bring you the actual evidences. And if you aren't careful enough to check which website, right now you could Google whether the Earth is flat or not, and some website's going to have some weird arguments. And if you're just going off of that, you are misguiding your viewers. You are giving them information that is actually incorrect, that is not found, right? And it's about a different ayah. No, it's on, on, okay. on, on the site it is, okay, it is okay, that high. On the but, site it is that high. And you responded okay. by saying, no, that's a Shia website, you can't trust them. The one you showed us. Yeah. It's, I'll tell you what, if we can go through and find that Ibn, Ibn Abbas in no book that can be attributed authentically talks about that ayah in that way. Will you at least admit that you made a false accusation 
if we can prove that. Yeah, it'd be very simple. You you can you can contact them, ask them sure. where they're getting this. If they don't have it, if they don't have a place, they send you a message back saying, yeah, we screwed up. Then that's done. And then David Wood will admit problem, problem that he solved. made a false accusation. And we're good. I'll admit that I believed a Muslim website. Uh -uh. Shame on me. You, you don't know if they're a Muslim. You don't know who made that website. So don't make assumptions. Okay, so right? it's an atheist website. I don't know. I, I, I don't know. So the, the issue is these websites, we don't know who made them. You don't know, and I don't know, and I shouldn't assume, and you shouldn't assume. I don't go online and find some okay. website but called christiansomething.com and that's assume. assume. That's true of everything. It's ahlulbayt.org or whatever it was, right? Yeah. Okay, you now. You said that's a Shia site. Right? And the issue. Th 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 this is my, this, 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 this is my brother. You're saying that's a Shia site. Listen, listen, listen. Listen, uh -huh. right? What you showed us mm -hmm. from the name of it, as I said, I don't know the site, but it seems like it is. And I told you not to go to random websites, but to bring actual books. And that's why I brought you the actual tafsir of Ibn Kathir. Mm -hmm. And I showed you that ayah. And I asked you to find me that, because you know that Ibn Abbas never wrote a book of tafsir, right? Mm -hmm. You know that or you don't know that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. OK. Now, there have been people that have collected, like Al-Iqtibas, which are all the weak narrations, right? But those are later works. Those are not the works of Ibn Abbas. The original works of tafsir, like Ibn, uh, Ibn Kathir and others, mm -hmm. when they recorded as well, we checked the authenticity of those narrations, mm -hmm. right? Because what you're trying to do is just trying to find a quote here, trying to find a quote here, and trying to misrepresent. What we're trying to do is look at the... Okay. Uh, that's the, orga okay, well, that's so, the organization. Okay, so, so this is the organization. You said, I can't trust this site. Because okay. it's, a, it's a Shia site. Could be. I don't no. know the site, as you I told you that I did. You insisted. Look, you listen, literally listen. laughed in my face I, I, for quoting I'll, a Shia site. Listen, listen to me. And listen. now it's, now it's well, it could listen, be a listen, Shia listen, site. Listen, listen, David, David. Go back and watch the video. I will. Right, hold I'll on, put it all together on, for everyone. You literally don't, laughed don't, in my face for using this listen, Shia listen, site. Listen, listen, don't, don't cut now, me. Now it's not a Shia site Hold anymore, that? suddenly. I, I didn't say that, right? Don't cut and clip. Play the whole segment. Unlike what you do with the regular stuff, right? Listen, what I told you is I don't know the site. Looking at the name, it seemed like a Shia You're site. you the organization is a Shia organization. Look, I didn't even mention the word organization. <laughs> I told you about the website's right, name. Watch, watch the whole video. That's why we post the whole thing. We don't just cut and clip, okay. right? Now, and the funny thing is, you saw that our camera died, and then you keep, kept on recording after we were done, and then he was like, oh, Sheikh Uthman doesn't want to show this. You saw that our camera died because, camera yeah, yeah, we were telling you when you were there. I didn't Don't say your camera died. We were recording. Camera listen, listen. We, we recorded. You know what you guys are doing listen, over there? Listen to me. Your listen. camera dies listen. right now. I don't know that. Listen to me. When you were here, when I talked your to them. Can't and last I, three hours? No, it cannot. I mean, and we've been recording before you get here. We're not just like you where you just sit there and wait to come and record me. I record here. We've been recording now since 2 o'clock since I got okay. here, right? You should bring in so, extra batteries. So the, yeah, that's a good idea. Bring but, extra batteries. But, but the dishonest part is, one. the dishonest part is, is that when you cut and paste, the clips and we post the whole thing when we weren't recording. When, no, when we weren't recording, when I told you we're done, when we finished and you kept recording, then you tried to make it a. No, uh, you, he, he, no, no, no. He's dishonest because he said that we didn't post a part of the recording, you which is not mine. true. You could have used mine. Okay, used send it to me. Yeah, uh, send it. me your you raw data. No problem. You can have it. Yeah, all right. Now, wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Hold, hang on, on. Hang hold on. on. Hold you, on. You hold spent two days convincing me that this is a Shia site. Let me. I did not. I did not spend two days convincing you any of that. Let you, me did. you did it on one let day me, when we were talking me, about water. Me, then I showed up the next time and you had Ibn Kathir and you said, do you agree? Yes, do I you showed agree? you and you're telling an me this is actual, a Listen, I showed you an actual book, the actual Ibn Kathir, right? Now what I told you, and your followers can go watch the whole, the whole segment if they like, is I don't know the site, but it seems like a Shia site by the name of it. Right? Usually when you find Ahlul Bayt, this or that, or the Shia site, so right? So you didn't say it's a Shia site. I told so you. I won't find you I, going, ha ha, he said he's listen, using a Shia listen, site. Listen, listen, what I told you, and I'm saying it again, go check it again, uh -huh. is, oh, that, check it. is that don't go to random sites. I don't know the site. I told you it seems like you're going to a Shia okay. site. No doubt. Well, now, you now you can know okay, the site. Okay, go ahead. Let's know. Established in 1980, the Royal Al Bayt Al Institute for Islamic Thought. Ah, Royal Ahlul Bayt. It's not Ahl. Ahl? Ahl. Ahl al Bayt. Yeah. yeah, okay. <laughs> thought is, Islamic Thought is an independent, international Islamic non governmental organization. It's headquartered in Mandalay, blah, 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 blah. Since 2000, uh, HRH Prince Ghazi bin Muhammad 
chief advisor to HM King Abdullah. So, King Abdullah, is he Shia? I don't know. You don't uh, know King uh, Abdullah uh, what? is Shia? Let me, let me see. Okay, and, and, and that advisor, I, is he Shia? Can I see which King Abdullah, which country? Can I check it? I, I mean, it's they're trying to like skip through it, I right? I believe it's King Abdullah II of Jordan. I don't know him to be Shia, that is true. But uh, do you know who Prince Ghazi ibn Muhammad no, I'm is? I'm asking you. I don't know. You're saying he's Shia. Uh, I, look, I didn't say no, no, he no, was they, Shia. <laughs> they give the actual, they give the scholars here. Okay. So you heard of these guys? Professor Dr. Sheikh Ahmed Mohammed Al Tayyib of nope. Egypt? Don't know. Not a Shia? Is he Shia? Uh, I don't know him. Okay. Go Sheikh ahead. Dr. Ali Gama of Egypt? Not a Shia, but not definitely. Not a Shia. Not a Shia, but. I don't follow him because of the weak narration that he depends on. Okay. Go ahead. Sheikh Omar bin Mohammed bin Hafiz from Yemen. Don't know. Don't know him. So no. could be a Shia. Could not be Shia. Yeah. Dr. Shia Mohammed Taki Usmani of Pakistan. Shia Taki Usmani. I know him. Yes. Shia. Not a Shia. Not a Shia. Yeah. Even though I don't follow him either, by okay. the way. Amirul Muminin Sheikh Al-Sultan yeah. Mohammed Saud Abu Bakr the Third of Nigeria. Don't know him. He's the spiritual leader of Nigeria. Interesting. So, Shia? You think it's Shia? You think I don't Shia? think so. Okay, not Shia. Uh, now you should you should know this guy, Professor Dr. Sheikh Yusuf Al Qaradawi. I know Qaradawi. Don't follow him either because the weak narration. Don't not Shia. It's a lot of Sunnis on the. It's a lot of Sunnis okay. for sure. this organization. So, alaikum assalam, wa barakatuh. Hayyakum Allah. Mother. Oh, mashallah, barakallah laka. Hayyakum Allah, sharf lana, hayyakum Allah. Walaikum assalam, hayyakum Allah. Akramah khair for the work you do. Akramah Allah, may Allah accept it from us. May Allah bless you and your people. Jazak Allah khair, may Allah accept it from us. Awesome content, mashallah. May Allah accept it. Nobody got nothing on you, you know what I mean? Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. They keep coming, you know, but nothing, nobody got nothing on you. As long as we got brothers like you supporting, we're all good, man. Alhamdulillah, jazak Allah khair, hayyakum Allah habibi. Go ahead. So, so, so wait, wait. The point is, the point is, these are very respected scholars. Did they write those books? Right. What books? The books that you were showing. No, they're the organization and they have a couple of projects. Okay. That's one of their main projects is that site which compiles the tafsir. Okay, but let, let me explain something you to you. You throw it all, you throw no, all no, these no, guys no, under no, the bus. No, they're no, Shias. No, I did not. You're lying. Dave, come on. You did, know I got the video, Allah right? knows. I did not say those guys are Shia. I did not mention those guys. Those guys are advisors on a panel. You're just showing me pictures, right? A Shia panel. It's not a Shia panel, apparently, although I don't know that to be true either, right? I don't know the website. I don't know the organization. We saw ahlulbayt.org, which I told you is the indicative of it being a Shia site, but that's not even the point. The point is, is the reference of authentic narration. Ibn Abbas did not write a book of tafsir. Later compilations like Al-Iqtibas have been criticized because they're weak ahadith and they're referenced incorrectly. Classic tafasir like a Tabari and Ibn Kathir and so on, that I actually brought you the book, you couldn't even find the narration in. So can you show me an authentic Ibn Yes, so can you show me a book that says that Ibn Abbas made this tafsir an authentic chain? Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, there, they're the ones that compile it. No, no, no they no, no. didn't. No. This is this is so oh. foolish. They did not compile the work. They are you. You are looking at some organization yeah. that has a panel of advisors. No, right, they, no. they didn't. They didn't do that. I'm saying they're the ones compiling these. Okay, they're not. Again, write, they're not writing Jalalain and so on. They're compiling they are from not. their site. And those scholars are on a panel. Yeah. Most of them I don't even follow or know because many of them follow weak ahadith. But the issue there being that they did not say Ibn Abbas made this reference. When you make a claim, you have to bring proof. I'm asking you to bring me what a do you book. Mean they didn't say it. It's in. They've got. They've got tough. What's they've wrong got with you, Dave? Let me explain this. Let me explain it. You let's say you're on the board of you, a church. You let me let me the, you click on the. Let me explain that's it. The commentary. Dave, mm -hmm. you here? Yeah. Paying attention? Got you. Let's say you go, you are on a panel of a church. They bring you as an advisor, Islamophobe advisor for a church, okay? That church publishes a bunch of works that you may never even have read. Just because you're on that board does not mean that you read, accredited, or approved other things that they have, projects that they have done, okay? The point is very simple. If you claim Ibn Abbas made this tafsir of this ayah, bring me a book, that I can look at the chain of narrators that authentically attributes it to Ibn Abbas. Because what I found with the chain of narrators that Ibn Abbas made this tafsir of a different ayah. Whether the book made a mistake or not is a different issue. You don't even know who compiled that book. You don't, you're just sitting here nodding. 
Because You're the one that tells me to go yeah, to yeah, scholars. Every time I, I go do, to scholar for I do. something, which you say, scholar did you go to? Those guys. That you went study. to them? That's their study. You went to them? No, they're listen, this is it, childish. They're putting it this as is the childish. Of Ibn I, they are not. You keep doing they it. are. Keep they your are. Under the I did not. They are a, a, a committee of advisors for an organization. You did not go to them and ask them about this narration. This this is not going to a scholar and learning. You are just here again, to try to make content. To it is not. Islam. Let me explain this. By when David, anything, when David Wood came here, him. when David Wood, because no, 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 listen, 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 which other, forget me, forget me, forget me, which Islamic scholar did you go to, other than me? I went to their site. <laughs> hey, look, 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 let, me, let me, let me, explain it. let me explain, let saying, me explain, hey, let me explain, let me explain, let me explain, this is the commentary of Ibn Abbas on this verse, you guys, you guys see the deception, you come back and you say, no, no, you guys see, you guys see the dishonesty, let me explain this, I'm going to make it clear. Instead of coming and saying, did Ibn Abbas make this tafsir? And when I showed you that in the books of you tafsir, I did, I brought Ibn Kathir out to you, right? You that brought Ibn, Ibn Kathir Abbas, to yeah. supposedly show me that show Ibn Abbas you didn't say something. That Ibn Abbas's tafsir for that ayah is not there. And instead of accepting and understanding, you just went in a loop to try to show things off, right? Instead of going, so go to another scholar, don't come to me, go to, a, go to somebody else and say, hey, did Ibn Abbas... scholars under the bus I did not throw, I did not throw anybody Look, under one. the bus. Here's another one, you know Mawdudi? I know Mawdudi. You know Mawdudi? Yeah. So last time, just as an example, wasn't something I was, I was planning on talking about, but just okay. to give an example in response to you constantly saying, well, go to, you have to go to a scholar. Yeah. And I want to say, oh, oh the scholars can give different opinions and so Of course they and can. I said, so for instance, on the issue of apostasy, okay. the four schools... Are you, they, are you, are you jumping now? No, no, I'm giving, you an, giving you an example of what, jump, what I'm ahead, talking jump, about. Jump, go ahead, jump, jump. I gave you an example. Okay. I gave you an example of you... Uh, well, uh, of an issue where if I go to a scholar, they're going to give me different answers, right? Well, so, you, you went to Maududi? No. You pulled him out of the grave? I didn't know where I was getting it. No, no, no. I didn't know where I was getting it. I brought it up as an example because I thought, every, I thought Dave, everyone agrees. Dave, no, Dave, no, 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 you no. speak no, English, right? Let, let, me, let me just make this clear first because you're going to go in a loop without... When I say go to a scholar, yeah. I mean physically. Physically. Go. You can read and learn about you Islam. Can. You can. You can. No problem. But if when you read what a scholar see, said, it's useless. You see how, you see how he interrupted useless. me? This is what you're you telling me. You see how he interrupted me? I want them to understand what you're Did saying. Did you guys see the interruption? This is a witness. Can I get a witness? I, I want can I finish what, what I'm saying? saying? Go ahead, go ahead. When I finish what I'm saying, you go can go explain ahead, what I'm saying. No, no, no. Don't try to rush me, bro. This ain't your time. All right. Now, when I say go to a scholar, I don't mean you Google. I don't mean look up stuff that you don't understand, you don't have the capacity to understand, you don't know the context to understand, that you're just looking up to make points. Rather, if you really want to be sincere and understand, as I did with the Bible, when I went to Bible studies and I went to Christian preachers and I sat in their, in their lessons and I asked them questions, and when, then after that, when I found things that they could not show references for, that's a different issue. What you did is not to understand, you went Googled, found whatever you could for your Islam. Let me finish, bro. Now, when I say go to a scholar, I'm not saying me necessarily. I'm a student of knowledge. I'm not a scholar. I'm just a beginner. Go to an actual scholar and say, did Ibn Abbas authentically establish the tafsir of this ayah in this way? And a scholar will then explain to you that this book, for example, was not written by Ibn Abbas. It was compiled later and has weak narrations. And this reference this reference was to a different ayah and was put in the incorrect place by a later person. But you didn't want to know the truth. You just want to make your point. You just want to make your videos. When I say go to a scholar, I don't mean that you go look at Maududi's tafsir. That's not going to a scholar because Maududi has said many things in his tafsir that the ulema of Islam have criticized, like his discussion about Musa alayhi and how he dealt with it, with his political uh, aligning of Yusuf alayhi salam with Mussolini and so on. This is not the way so you can't learn. Can't go to the books, can't go to the tafsir, can't, uh, again, can't go to a again, person. Again, again, you realize how again. difficult it is no, to learn anything is, about it is, Islam. It is not. I'm sitting in my room, how do let I learn me, about Islam? By let going me to explain Brian, it. No, can't learn let there. me explain Hadith, it. Hadith, can't learn I got there. You, bro, I got you. can't learn there. Have to go to you. Because you're the only shit I can walk up to. Again, this is like the third time I'm saying this here. That not just me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you're I've the, said it three times. Where, let me where say am I supposed for? to walk around? Sure. Let me ask. I can't learn by books. I got so I you, bro. I got time. you. I got you. Okay. Listen, listen, listen. There is, for example, in America, go to Sheikh Karim Abu Zayd. 
right? Mm -hmm. He's a scholar. He knows. Don't come to me. Go to him. Just walk up to him anytime I need sure. to learn something about no, Islam. No, right? no, 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 no. Let me explain it even simpler for you. Let me take it even to a simpler level, okay? Uh -huh. You want to learn about Tawheed, oneness of Allah. No problem. We got books. Learn it. It's easy, right? You want to learn how to pray? I'll get you a book. No problem. Easy, right? But if you're going to talk about how to establish and, and, and take out the rulings on Islamic Khilafah, you're not talking about something that as a basic Muslim you need for your daily life. You are trying to get into some scholarly work. Uh -huh. And for that, you need to go to the scholars of Islam and study with them as we have been doing since the time of the Prophet Sallallahu till our time. Where we make, I went myself, I made hijrah, I left the US, I went, I sat with scholars, I studied Arabic, I studied Quran, I studied Tafsir, I studied Hadith, I studied the books of Fiqh, right? And then now I teach those. Students come to me, and if they can't come to me, we have live links that they can watch the videos where we take them step by step, teaching them which ayah came where, what is the authentic narrations, and you could have done the same. You could have watched the same videos and learned, how but you learn, didn't. How can I but learn you from didn't. videos? Because you I are have to talk to an actual sure, person, right? But you I are. Learn by reading. Listen, listen, see, you see, you see now, now that I gave you a solution, Who in you're the just trying to go. You can't learn by reading. What math professor listen, would say, can't learn math listen, by reading? Okay, what, let me, what, what philosophy let me, professor let me would ask, say, can't learn Plato let me by ask, reading? Let me ask Dave now. There's one thing in the world you can't learn about through reading. Let's make it, let's show his hypocrisy right now, right? Let's say you want to be a doctor and you take all the medical books home and you read them all up. Can you go and perform surgery? Can you, Dave? You would need practice. Oh, what? Actually, what? What? You would okay, need so, practice. You, so you practice no where? Medical so you, so, so, no medical professor you in the world would say excellent. you can't learn all everything you want to learn about embryology yes, they would. and everything They would tell you if you want to be a doctor, if you want to be a doctor, surgery if you want, where lives are at stake, yes. then you need some hands-on experience. It, and, and how do you get that? Can you do it at home? Can you, Dave? This is what I can't hear you, Dave. Notice. I can't hear you. Notice. Can you go home? You can't learn Islam listen, by listen, reading. listen, listen. He's can't caught. Go. He's caught. Go. Look at him. This look at him. Look, look at him. Look at him. Do you think this, this is, is surgery? This is more critical than surgery. This is your hereafter. When you're talking about running an Islamic Khilafah, how to do jizya, how to, to do jizya, it and is. You keep telling us look, it's the least look, clear thing. What in the you universe. don't understand is what is clear is no doubt the Quran tells you Qul huwa Allahu ahad it is there let me finish do you know what you need look, practice I let you speak no, you've been speaking for like 10 no no I let you speak practice? let me finish go ahead do you know what you need practice for surgery okay because it's not that easy okay any doctor would running say this a khilafa, is running a khilafa. Running a khilafah, running a, running a So, so you're telling me an average Muslim becomes Muslim in America, he needs to know how jazia is implemented? He needs, to be, he needs to be able to figure it out this, if he this, wants. Yes. Yeah. So now, now, have, now, now let, me, books, let me, let me explain. All the books and not figure it out. Listen to me. Let me, just let, let me, let me give you an example that I'll start to get early so I can take this off my phone. I'm going to let you speak. Okay. So, speaking about duty, uh, last time, just as an example, I brought up the issue of apostasy. I did not think there would be any disagreement. This was still a straight point. This was, if I go to a scholar, you say go to a scholar. Point was, if I go to a scholar, then I can get different answers. And so, so the, the issue I brought up was apostasy. So, and I didn't remember, I didn't remember where, I didn't remember where I read it. I didn't remember it was from Maududi. So this is from a video I made like 10 years ago. You've been at this for 10 years? Yeah. Still, so, still, well, still, still, sad. I'm still, I'm on the same side with Maududi and you're throwing him under the bus. So <laughs> I pointed you're out. You're on the side of Maududi for everything he said? I pointed out, no, of course not. Only when it helps your agenda. <laughs> so, something like apostasy, where the okay. four schools agree that a male apostate is killed. I said that they have disagreements on whether a waiting period is required to give them time for repentance. Um, okay. There's uh, a difference on whether women also have to be executed in the same manner as men. So I pointed that out. Under you a khilafah. You laughed in my face. Under a khilafah, so right? totally wrong. No, 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 I'm no, just no, talking no, about no, 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 are, are you done speaking? I'm, no, no, no. I'm, okay. I'm, I'm going to respectfully let you because finish. Because you laughed in my face, said I'm making all this up. Where am I getting this? I'm ignorant. I asked you. I got this I, from I, I, No, no, you, you're, you're lying about me. So let me just clarify this. I asked you about the books of the different madahib because you were saying about the differences. I said, can you name me one book? in each madhab and you could not name a single book because, because i went to a scholar right you I did not go I, once again once again going and googling no. Mahmoudi's so english so. translation is not going to a scholar not his commentary he has let a me, book let me let me let me explain he has a book okay, hold on hold on, hold on just one just second one quick. second one second 
Look, it, what's your name, brother? Abdurrahman. Abdur brother, if you show me a rash, yeah. right? Now pay attention, right? You show me a rash, and I tell you, bro, you got to go to a doctor. Yeah. Okay. Would you take that to mean you're going to Google oh, what a doctor no. said? I would never Google that. Yeah, thing. because only, only a... Where did you find this? <laughs> this is his Online. book. This is his you book. have you the book Amazon. or you got it from the internet? You can get it on Amazon. Did you study his book? Yes, it's a short book. Did you I study? read the entire book. You studied it. Look, now you can't just read it. What do you mean? <laughs> okay. You let have me, to go to Pakistan. Me, no, no. You have to learn Urdu. Listen, you he, have to do this. Look, he's dodging does the he, issue. Does he not know Maududi's dead? I made some comments. <laughs> I made some Listen, comments. don't no, go to Pakistan. Go to Urdu, Maududi's go dead. Go to Urdu. No, no, Urdu no, no, no. no. Who wants to Who wants to read Arabic? Arabic is the language of the Quran. I said some things that came directly from Maududi. He said it was listen, all wrong. Listen, listen. listen. So Maududi is no. also under the bus. No, Ibn Abbas, Ibn Abbas, under, the bus. Ibn Ibn Abbas under the bus. You quoted a weak, under the bus. You quoted Allah a Allah weak under the bus. narration under the bus. from not from, from the work of Ibn Abbas. Anyone disagrees with this man yeah. goes under the bus. Doesn't matter. Go ahead, go ahead make your content. Go ahead. You know this is. Go ahead, make your content. You know this go ahead. Let me let me Google her. Let me let me Google her. Let me let me let me get you. Let me get you. Hold on. Let me get you. When you talk about the four madahib, okay. right? Do you know the four schools of thought? Yeah. The four madahib that you are quoting their differences. Yeah. You so don't, there are differences. Of course, there's different on the issue in of the Listen, on the issue of any fiqh issue yeah. that you bring into, yeah. the madahib are going to have opinion. Yeah. In some issues, they're going to have ijma. Yeah. You know what that is? It's consensus. Excellent. Then they're going to have ikhtilaf. You know what that is? Uh, what's that? The disagreement? Disagreement. Yeah. Then they're going to have ittifaq. You know what that is? No. I didn't think so. When you have a majority opinion amongst the four madhahib, but there may be others that disagree. Yeah. But when you study a madhab, you start with the matan. You understand what that is? Just get your point. No, no, that, that is the point. That you don't understand any of what you're saying, no, no, right? No. Now, let me, let me if explain I went this. to these guys let me, and I said, let me, what am I supposed to do with this apostate? Sure. I put different answers. Uh, who so did you, you, you not did help. not go to a scholar. No, I just read you what just they pick wrote up. because exactly. I can read. Listen, you are reading a book of tafsir or a book of fiqh on, on jazia. Is it a book of fiqh on how to implement jizya and, and irtad? This is your, one of your scholars. Maududi is not my scholar. Were, I mean Islamic Maududi, scholar. I don't follow Maududi. I don't this agree with Maududi. Maududi. So I'm supposed to go to a scholar. I go no. to a scholar and he says, yeah, they actually have differences of opinion on what to do with Sure, apostates. but the issue gets Some to be... you don't have to give away a grade. You can just kill him. Some say if he's done it in secret versus he's done it in public, that's a different story. Uh, some say that you execute a woman the same way as you would execute a man. Sure. Say, well, who who says what? And what, right what are their evidence? Who says what and what are their evidence? Maduri gives the quotations. Yeah, go ahead. Read, okay. read from him. So according to the school of Malik, as written in his book Muwatta, uh, from Zayd ibn Aslam, blah, blah, blah. Malik from has, Zayd ibn Aslam, Zayd Malik ibn has Aslam. reported that the apostle of God declared, whoever changes his religion to be ex executed. Malik said about this tradition, as far as we can understand, this command of the Prophet means that the person who leaves Islam to follow another way, but conceals his kufr and continues to manifest Islamic belief, as is the pattern of the Zindiqs and others like them, should be executed. What's a Zindiq? Uh, Malbudi says atheist, but I know that there are other explanations of that. Which are they? I don't know, just, I mean, there's not, you a, lot, don't know, there's not right? a lot of that's actual exactly. atheists down there, so I assume it's someone denying the one God or something like that. No, no, that's not what Zindiq is. Okay, and, and, and that's and completely see, see, irrelevant to what it, we're talking it, about. It, it actually is. Every time he'll, he'll it, no, go no, down me, rabbit trail, it's, not. it's completely let irrelevant me, to the point. Let me explain why it's relevant. Why it's relevant is because what you're reading, you don't even understand what he's talking about, the difference between a Zindiq and a Murtad. He says atheist. Do you know what a Zindiq and a Murtad, the difference is? You don't. See, this is the problem. When I say go to a scholar, when you ask a scholar, the scholar makes sure that you understand what you're reading. When you just pick up, if I go and pick up Gray's Anatomy, the difference between me and a doctor who can perform surgery, the doctor goes to a university, sits with people who test his knowledge, make him understand. You can take every medical book in the world home or Google it and read it and nobody will consider you a doctor. Why? Because you're a comprehension was not tested. You can go home and practice all you want. You can go home and find uh, a dead body and cut it up. But you go to a hospital, even with that practice, imagine David Wood goes to a hospital and says, you know what, I'm gonna start taking kidneys out because I read all these books online and I've practiced at home. Nobody would allow it. Why? Because you have to be checked. Here, the difference between a murtad and a zindiq is critical. You don't even know what that means. Go ahead. Muatta Imam Malik, is that a book of fiqh? 
And others Is like that a them. book of fiqh? I'm giving you what your scholar said. No, no, you don't. Know, it's not that my scholar. I don't follow more do this. Yeah, but no, 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 no. Listen, all he's doing is listen, the four schools here. Listen, listen. Right? Is Muatta Imam Malik a book of Maliki fiqh? No, he's giving the difference. My goodness, he's explaining the uh, difference in thought of the four schools. Do you know so what it means to go to somebody? Should be executed after his guilt has been established. He should not be asked to repent because the repentance of such persons cannot be trusted, right? So there are certain people you don't ask to repent, you just kill them. He says, but the you person know, who has left Islam and publicly chooses to follow another way should be requested to repent. If he repents, good, otherwise he should be executed. So sure. he's saying they, there are certain people you can trust and certain people you can't trust. If he's no. someone you can trust and he repents, then let him the repent. The question other now, people, you just hold, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, hold on. So let, let's take that from just what you read. From what you just read, yeah. don't go anywhere else, right? If this brother, may Allah protect him, becomes a Muslim and becomes a Murtad from what you just read and he openly becomes a Murtad, should I kill him? He openly becomes? Openly, right here in San Diego. According, well, no, you say you're, you're, Why you're, not? Not, you're not under Islamic law here. I, right? I didn't read any. Did, did it say Islamic law there? We're granted, you're not. Wait, wait, wait. No, 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 no. Read what you just read. Read what you just read. Read what you just read. The entire conversation. You, you see this? You see this? About whether there are differences Look, among the that, four that, schools. That, that is he not said it. There aren't. That is he said not I'm it. making that up. Let me explain. And I'm it. getting it from Maududi. Maududi is quoting the see? sources. You and see? notice what he's doing. You see the difference is. He's giving cheerleaders over here. Yeah. What do they say? They cheer him on even though it's not making any sense. Listen, don't be a hater just because they're happy and they see your destruction. No. No, understand what does he this. Say? There understand are no differences. This. Understand they teach the this. Yeah, I got thing. you. Now I give Dave. him the differences, and he says, Dave. "Aha! Dave. But what about what I what I explain? Different explanations I, of what you do. What I explain? That's exactly what, what I, I did last explain. time. I was totally wrong. And now, he, he, now what? he knows. That's why he's speaking to the camera instead of me. I know what. All right. He knows he's caught. He knows it's over. He knows it's done. I was he right. Knows. You were wrong. You, I was we'll, right. We'll, I was telling we'll, the truth. We'll, you were lying. We'll, we'll prove it right now. You were lying. We'll prove, prove it right now. Right now. I right. said there are differences Listen. in the four schools. You Listen. said no, there aren't. Listen. I'm giving you the differences. Listen. Now, now you're saying, Listen. Hey, let's change the subject. Listen. And go down the. Listen. What? You Listen. Talking about medical Listen. school? Listen. Listen. When we talk yes, about are there are there of course, I told okay. you from day one that in the implementation of rules, there is much khilaf between the madhahib. But there are certain rules that they That's all the agree upon. I agree. Uh, hold on. I agree. Listen. Mowdudi even says what you just listen. said. Listen. Mowdudi says what listen. you just said. He starts off by saying, listen. they all agree. This is the problem. He doesn't want to listen because he knows. With, I'm agreeing with you. Let, let me speak and then There's you can no agree. I don't even speak yet. I'm not arguing. I'm explaining a point to you. Okay? When you look at those rulings, there are some things that they're going to agree, but there are things where they're going to have disagreement, but you need to understand the context. And that's why you, when you read that, it did not mention anything about an Islamic Khilaf or a government. Mm -hmm. And what you did is you are now reading your own context into it. I didn't say that. Right, I did. Right. I didn't because, say anything because, about this context. Because if you had just read that by itself, and that's all you had. They're all talking listen, about under a Khilaf. Listen, listen, where does it say that? You, you see? That's you see? not what we're talking you see? about. No, but that's the point. You don't understand what we're talking about. You are making your own context. You're, You're taking saying Cheetos are bad. You're saying Cheetos are bad. Cheetos. He's saying Cheetos are bad. Notice, I brought up something he never said, and now I'm going to attack him based on something he never said. You Which know is what a lie. So, do you know what a straw, I like Cheetos. Do you, know what the straw I don't halal. do you know what the straw man fallacy is? Listen. Do you know what the straw man fallacy is? Sure I do. Okay, what is it? When, when you make an, an argument to trap somebody into a certain answer and then you try to get them on it. Uh, no, so, it's where you close, misrepresent yeah? the opponent's position yeah. and then you attack your misrepresentation. Look, the only point I was okay. making, the what? only point I was making was okay. if you say go to a scholar, sure. it's not that clear because the scholars have differences of opinion. Can and I? I brought up the issue of apostasy to say the four schools have differences of how this sure. would be implemented. Sure. You said, no, 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 no. You laughed in my face, told me I didn't know what I was talking about. So I come back to you with my duty, which is where I got it from. You're agreeing that now you're agreeing that they have differences and you're saying, you see how, ah, but under, you see how I'm letting it you doesn't speak? say under an Islamic state. You see how I'm letting you speak though, right? The point. Consensus. You pick a scholar. On certain are, issues. On scholar. certain issues, there are ijma. On certain issues, there is ijma. Certain issues, there is khilaf. If you now agree with that, then great, we're in agreement. You don't need to explain anything because we agree. You don't want me to there speak. That's what it is. Explain right? what you're gonna. You don't want me to speak. You're finish what you're saying so I can speak. Everything you're saying is a straw man. I thought we understood. Yes, we're talking finish. about. We're talking about. If we're talking about, if we're talking about the four you see schools. That? You see how he's nervous to let me speak? Go ahead. You see how he's interrupting. 
I'm if listening. we're reading about the four schools and implementing these, yeah, I'm not saying you do this anywhere. You didn't make the claim. Never occurred to me to make the claim, but then you start attacking that point. That's a straw man. If you are in agreement now that on issues of how you treat apostates under different circumstances, the four schools have differences of opinion on how this is done, there's no disagreement between us right now. There's no argument between us. As long as you say yes, I say okay. And the point was, you say, oh, go to a scholar. Well, I go to one scholar, he says, uh, yes, you kill a woman just like you kill a male, male apostate. I go to another scholar, no, 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 you don't kill the women, you beat them. You beat them every three days until they come back to Islam. Some of them say, yes, you have to give a person a waiting period, a waiting period, if you're to, to repent, and if he does it, then you kill him. Others say you don't have to do that. Others say it, it depends on whether you trust the guy or not. If you agree that they have those differences of opinion, there's no difference among us. We can move on. You don't have to attack a straw man and say, David, but you said this or that. I didn't say any of that. That's my point. Now, right. do you see right. how I let this man speak? That's what you're going to say, right? Go ahead. No, uh, actually, that's another lie because all I was going to say, are you done? Uh -huh. Yeah. You're done? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Now, would you allow me the courtesy that I gave you to speak? Thank you. First thing is, I told you from the day one, maybe you don't listen or you can watch the video again, that ulema have khilaf in their madhahib and their scholarly differences. The problem you're having is instead of listening to what I said, which was to go to a scholar, you did the same thing. You looked up an online book, which is a book of tafsir, not a book of fiqh. You don't have the capacity to understand the difference of madahib, unfortunately. And that is not something that a layman should even be getting into. A layman should be understanding the usul, the principles before they get into that, right? But you don't, you don't want to learn. You just want to take shots. That's the problem. If you had actually done what I had asked you to do, to go to a scholar, a scholar would not tell you Maududi said this, and Imam Malik said this, and Shafi said this. He would tell you that this is the opinion, this is the evidences, and if he gives you other opinions, he will give you the evidences why those are incorrect, and why what is correct is correct, by looking at the strength and weaknesses of narrations, by looking at Nasik and Mansuk. But you're not interested in learning, that's the problem. You did not go to a scholar. Once again, I'm saying this, you did not go to a scholar. You just looked up another tafsir book, not a fiqh book, and you try to bring forward that which you don't even understand what is being said. I never said that ulema don't have khilaf. I never said that. I teach the khilaf, right? But the issue that I was making is that if you go to actual scholars, they will give you certain things which are ijma'an, where there is a consensus, where they will not disagree. And there are going to be certain things where they're going to have khilaf. But Maududi will not give you those references. He's giving you tafsir of an ayah. If you want to understand the laws of irtad, and what is the difference between a zindiq, and what is the difference between a murtad who is a male and a female, and a dhimmi and a ghair dhimmi, and a khilafa, non khilafa, you don't go to tafsir books, you go to fiqh books. And then they give you all of the ayat and all of the ahadith, and then they give you the references on the different scholars and their agreement. When a scholar is your teacher, he will explain that. But you didn't go to a scholar. Like I asked a brother, if I say go to a doctor, I don't mean look up a medical book. I mean physically go to a doctor so an expert who's been tested and credit, accredited in the field can evaluate your issue and then give you a diagnosis. You can read all the medical books in the world online or at home, you cannot write a prescription. Just like you cannot give a fatwa, you cannot implement sharia. The Quran is simple, it's clear. For what you need as a layman, you say, Qul huwa Allahu ahad, Allah is one, easy. There is no kids, there is no, God doesn't have a son or a mother, he has nobody that is sharik with him, he created the samawat wal ard. Alhamdulillah, what you need is evident and clear. But now, if you want to take the Quran, and use it as a legal system. You want to take the Quran and derive fiqh rulings from it. That's why we have scholars. That's why we have PhDs in Sharia. That is why we use those sciences to understand Nasik and Mansukh and Sahih and Da'if and Mutawatir. But you don't want to learn the rulings. You are here just to make content. That's the problem. If you want to learn about the rules of the Murtad, I'll, I'll even make you a deal. Right, we have a book called Zad al Mustakniya that, we are, that we are teaching. Listen, you see how I interrupted now? Couldn't, couldn't hold it. Couldn't hold it. I, I can't. You're telling me. Couldn't hold it, could you? If every other couldn't book hold it. To, if every other couldn't book hold it. To, if he had just held it for five more seconds, it wouldn't make him look like a fool. 
I was going to say it is a book I am teaching mm -hmm. as a teacher okay. of al Mustakniya, and I was going to offer you that you can study it with me. And as a teacher, I will teach it to you. I didn't say go to a book, so that little burst you did made you look like a fool. What I was saying is not to take the book at home. If you took Zad al Mustaqni at home, you wouldn't understand anything of it. Wouldn't understand. Yeah. Wouldn't understand by because reading. Because it is a, it any is a very. Any other topic in the world you can understand is, by reading, but not that. <laughs> any other topic in the world, yeah. Go ahead. So now, when you go to a university and you go to professors, mm -hmm. that is there for a qualified professor to teach you. And when they test you and you pass those tests, that's when you get accredited as an engineer, as a doctor, as a scholar, as all of that. When you want to implement the Sharia, this is scholarly work, this is not layman work, then yes, you need to go to credited scholars that need to test your abilities and give you the ijazat or asanid or masters or PhDs for you to then implement those rulings. As a layman Muslim, if you want to learn how to pray and things, no problem, I got you, it's simple stuff, right? But if you want to then get into the khilaf of madahib, you need to at least understand what the madahib are. You don't even know that Muatta Imam Malik is a, is a hadith book. It is not a book used for Maliki fiqh. There are books written on it like Mudawwana and al istithkar and Al-Tamheed that then derive the fiqh rulings from it. And even that is not the Mu'tamid. This is not to know the Maliki madhab. If you want to know the Maliki madhab, then you go to books like Mustasar al-Khalil, which you've never heard of. That's the problem. You don't, you, you're just picking stuff here and there. Maududi has many mistakes in his tafsir that the ulema of Islam have pointed out. Does that mean just because you're going to read it there, now you're going to be like, oh, you're a scholar. Maududi is not my scholar. Maududi is under yeah. the bus. He's not under the, this is something that I said years ago. Don't think that I need you to be impressed by this, all right? But the problem is that you are not trying to find the truth. You're trying to find little My clips and bits. My problem is your method of finding the truth. Okay. I have to come. So, no, no, no. Don't come to, come to me. This is like the sixth time I'm yeah, saying, yeah, yeah, don't no, come no, to no, me. No, the point is, go to Sheikh Karim. You're, you're, you're missing the point. You're go to the somebody point. else. No, no, no. Go missing, to Muhammad. You're totally, completely missing the point, right? Okay. Everything I've ever learned okay. in my entire school has been Google. My entire scholastic, no, that's what you, that, that's, what, that's what you do. I Google. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm the one that brought you books. I got a library that I showed you. I've got, I've yeah. got the library too. How many books do you have? Too. When I'm sitting here. How many books a, do you have? A ton. How many? About an entire house full, basically. You have a house full of books? Yeah. Nice. I want to see tons, a picture, tons, man. That's tons, cool. Tons. Anyway. Missing the point. How many, how many fiqh books do you yeah, have? Yeah. Just out of curiosity, since you mentioned that. What? What, what, what fiqh books do you have? None. He has a ton, what, what? house full of books, what? not a single fiqh book. What is it for? It's not about how many books, how many books you've read. Yeah. yeah, how many books have now you read? Listen, listen. So, here's what, here's what we're gathering here, right? You say, go to a scholar. Physically. Yeah, yeah, go to a scholar. How do I know I can trust that scholar? Excellent. How do I know he's not? And you would say, ah, oh, because he's giving the evidence, right? You, you want the answer the or you see no, the no, straw no. man? No, 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 no. Straw man, no. right? No, 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 you see the no, straw no, man? No, he, now, now he, now he, is, no, but this I is straw manning. This is exactly it's the not, definition you is you're putting, you're saying you would say, no, no, no. Now he's, he's putting, he's putting my position and now he's going to refute it without letting me speak. Go ahead. Straw man me. Go ahead. That's the point. He says, go to a scholar. Go to a scholar, learn from a scholar. If scholars have differences of opinion, and I go to a scholar, and he gives me a, an opinion, one, how do I know he's not lying and misrepresenting things, right? In other words, if he says, no, that's a Shia site, how do I know that I should trust him versus uh, not trust him? Uh, if he says, no, there are no, there are no differences on the implementation of these apostasy laws, if he says that, how do I know I should trust him versus, no, nah, I don't know I can trust The only way I know of to judge whether someone is telling the truth is to go look up what he's saying, look up the sources, look up the verses, look up the hadiths, look up the commentaries. The problem is that's not how you learn Islam according to you. So I have to trust some scholar. I just have to come up to some you scholar. See the second straw manning he just did. I just have to come up to some scholar, mindlessly trust him, because I can't learn from the books. The books are just going to lead me astray. Because I'm going to go to the books and I'll go to like third Maududi, straw man. I'll go to like I'll go to Maududi and he'll say yes. There are all these differences of opinion and so on. Wait a minute. That's not what Sheikh Uthman told me. He told me he told me I'm an idiot for saying that sort of thing. So what am I supposed to do here? I'm supposed to believe Sheikh Uthman, not Maududi. So these two scholars, but Fourth you can't believe Maududi because he's actually writing it in a book, and so you can't trust him. 
you can look up the quotations. You can't trust those because who knows? You looked up the and quotations. So I just have to, you looked up what no, Imam Malik. If I would, it would be it would be completely irrelevant to you because I have to actually walk up to a person, which you said over and over again. So if you say, no, oh, that's a straw man to say that I said you have to go to up to a scholar. I didn't say that, right? But what you said. Instead of letting me answer on how to know which scholar, you put words in my mouth and then refuted it. Exactly the what definition words, words? where you said just look at the evidences, right? So let me explain how that works. You, did, you didn't tell me that? You I did, but you didn't understand it. Let me okay. explain it to you, right? I if do you, understand see, again, it. Now, now, now you're not going to let me because speak. Because now right? you're going to talk about Now, now, now he's not going to let me speak. For 10 minutes you see that? You say. see how nervous he is from just letting again, me speak? I'm, I'm against just wasting letting me speak. You're wasting time, not me. I'm trying to explain something to you. If you. This is a waste of time. Why'd you fly out from not New York? This, not this. Why'd you fly out from New York? Not this. Yeah, so you, this. you just want to speak and not listen. This is the problem. No, I listen over okay. and over again. But no, you, 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 you asked a, a question. Let me the, explain all, it. The, all of this was just, are there differences of opinion among <coughs> the scholars that you, you could go to? You finally that, that, agreed. That, There's no more disagreement. I, I, There's I, no reason to discuss this. I, again, you're trying to jump off the topic because you don't want to let me speak. Right? I feel you. I understand that you're cornered. I understand There's you're, you're, no you're losing. You I got, with I the got point, you. Okay. And now you're going to go on now, this let point me, that I'm not trying to let make. Me, no, no. The question you asked and then answered on my behalf, let me answer it. Okay? When you go to a scholar, first thing, Yes, you look at somebody who's accredited, who has qualifications, right? Somebody who knows that subject, right? For example, where did Maududi graduate from? Don't which know. Islamic university? What? Don't know. You don't know. You don't know which Islamic university Maududi graduated from. So now it's uh, hold on, it's doing hold research. on, hold on. Oh yeah, Allah! You go to a doctor, he doesn't have an MBBS, NDS, nothing. You're gonna let him do surgery on you? You're not. You're gonna make you're, sure. You're, you're, you're gonna check the, Yelp rate. No, no, no. See, now you're letting you're me speak. The point. Let me speak. If this guy went to let me speak. and this guy went to some other school, how where, do I? How where do I? Did, I where did, you're me, proving my point. Let me explain it. <laughs> Maududi never graduated from any Islamic university. Because he's under the bus. This is fact. Graduated from under the bus. Fact. University. But he didn't know, now he feels foolish. Maududi dropped out okay, of so a Muhammad, madrasa. Muhammad never graduated from university. So I should Sallallahu alayhi wa He, is, he is the messenger of Allah the Quran was revealed to. What university right? did Abu Bakr me, graduate wait. from? From the university of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. That's not a real university. <laughs> it's not accredited. You don't get it. Let me explain this, right? As for example, if you look at Pluto or whatever, they never took uh, courses in philosophy because they came Plato. up with theory. Plato, was Mickey Mouse's dog. Plato, you have Homer, you have all of those, I got you. Not the point. The point here being those are the ones that came up with it. The Quran was revealed to the Prophet. ﷺ. He taught it to Abu Bakr and Umar Uthman. They are the university system, the madrasa system, the ijazat system was developed later to be able to understand their statements. We don't ask where university they went to. Now, when you look at a madrasa system or an ijazah system, if you had known, which you didn't, Maududi dropped out of madrasa. And that is why many scholars, and, and you know, many scholars across the board, including my teachers, have criticized him for his lack of understanding and his political leanings, right? This is not something new. You can look up my earlier videos when I discussed tafsir and so on and the mistakes he made, right? Same thing with Sayyid Qutb. Sayyid Qutb was not a scholar. He didn't study Sharia. He was a journalist. He was an activist, but he wrote a book called Fizil al Quran in the shade of Quran. But many scholars criticize his mistakes in it. But this is the problem. You didn't even know where Maududi studied. You, you, you don't know. So first thing you do with a scholar is you look at their credentials, right? Like I have my credential, I have my ijazat, I have my asanid, but not just me. Many scholars in the in, in you, the yeah. no, me and Maududi, apples and oranges, right? So now when you look at the great scholars of Islam and you look at their ijazat and asanid, that's the first thing. Secondly, secondly, when they present to you an opinion with the evidences for you to now check evidences knowing the fiqh from a scholar is a great thing. I encourage that. The problem you are doing is you're not going to original sources, you're not going to Murta Imam Malik, you're not going to books of hadith like Ibn Abi Shayba or them. You're going online, looking up an English translation, skipping the scholarly step and trying to check something that you don't even understand the words you're reading. Look, I'm saying this with advice to you because you make yourself the foolish every time. Well, this is the worst advice. Look, you don't, you don't, you don't want my advice? Don't come here. I didn't come up to you. I didn't go up to no, your you, stand. You, you I didn't. You, you listen, put out debate challenges sure. for everyone. Listen, I, I sent it to Christian Prince. I don't, but that's you said, okay. You said Christians in general. Anybody. Okay. Uh, okay. You came here uh -huh. with the claim that you're not here to debate, you're here to ask questions of a shape. That's on oh, video. Okay. You said yeah. you didn't want to debate. 
If you want to debate, listen, I'll, I'll, we can set up a listen, debate. I'll be happy to debate you. Listen. Would you like to debate? Sure, why not? Okay, cool. But we listen. Can pick, we can pick an Islamic topic and a Christian topic. How about that? Sure, we can do yeah. that. Now, the key here is you came out to this table uh -huh. saying you're my favorite sheikh. Yeah, I'm here to are. ask. Thank you. I'm here to ask a sheikh a question, right? To learn. Uh -huh. But you know in reality that was not your intent, right? You, no. Speak the truth. No, 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 no. That wasn't. Look, I always respect people who put themselves out there versus, versus other people. Right? Great. You know what I mean? Yeah. But, but you no. came here to learn? Yes. Yes. Right. Yes. So, so that, but look, when I've been clearly proved to you, I mindlessly agree with everything you so say. When if I, you think, if sure. you think, no, 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 no. If you think, look, that learning means you can say anything, no matter how compl how completely ridiculous it is, and then I'm just going to mindlessly accept it. That's not what not I mean at by all. learning. Not at all. Not what I mean. By if learning. you don't trust what I'm saying as a scholar, yeah. then you should not be learning from me. You should go to a scholar. If you're deceiving Hold people, on. then you Hold need on. to be exposed. So, so now you see the truth comes out. He's not here to learn. He's here to try to expose. See the no. reality. No, 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 no. You cut no, no, yourself no, no, right no, here no, on no, tape no. now. No, 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 no. You're look, on look, 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 tape, bro. Look. You did not come thing. here to learn. You, you to speak the oh, truth, bro. Don't, don't, don't mask it. I, right? I will. I will right now, now let me, let me, let me say one thing. Let me say one thing. I came out here because you issued a challenge. Come and debate me. So we came out. So you did not come to learn. Not at that point, no, it was, a, it was a debate. It was gotcha. a, you had a debate okay. invitation. Right? Okay, and you and three guys, or then two other say, guys, yeah. Then you say, no, I'm not a debater. I just do da I just give dawah. Sure. I just give dawah. Let me so clarify. So I came out the next time, uh -huh. I came out the next time because I do make videos, right? Gotcha. And I have made mistakes in my videos in the past. And you still do? Yeah, I have. I'm a human being. You are. I make mistakes, right? Yeah. So it occurred to me, hey, if I'm about to make a, a video on some argument from this book, gotcha. why not verify with Sheikh Uthman that I am understanding the argument correctly? Let sure. him give the best version of the argument that he can. Okay. I'm interested in that. That's, gotcha. In fact, as far as Christian Muslim discussions and so on, my primary interest is the arguments. But gotcha. sometimes I open one book and it gives one argument and another and it gives sure. a different one. And so I do you're the one scholar I can just walk up to. So why I'm do not, I not want to walk I'm up not, to you? I'm not. There are the many version. scholars. You can walk up, you can go to them, you can travel to them. And, and you know, in countries around the world, you can approach them. That's not the issue. Yeah. So let me let me just clarify this. So first thing, as I have continuously said, and you guys keep trying to misquote it, but I'm going to clarify it again. I am not a debater, but I'm willing to debate. Okay. See, so it's not, you know, all your little video clip, clip, clip cuts are, are just you guys trying to make noise. But the reality is, what I've said from the day one, I'm a die. I'm here to give dawah. But if somebody wants to debate, like all three of you came out, I debated you guys. No problem. Yeah, we if, weren't debating. If, well, you said you didn't want to debate. It, it, that was a, that was well, a I don't friendly know. discussion with me holding <laughs> gotcha. Anthony back. Because gotcha. he would have just steamrolled you. He would, he would have, huh? Yeah. yeah. Why doesn't he come back then to steamroll? Oh, he can. Huh? Let him but come he back. Would, he would, he would prefer, if, you're, if you're challenging people to debate, which you did yeah. in the video, sure. then he would like a, a debate. And that sure. would be like, hey, 10-minute opening look, statements look, look, and then look. back and forth and so on. Look, this is a street debate. This is where you come out and we handle this, right? So now you came out, they came out, people after you came out, others came out, videos are out there. That's not an issue. But when you came back, yeah. You said, I'm here because you're my favorite sheikh to learn. You are. When, I, when I explain to you, uh -huh. for example, the weakness of the narration from, uh, from Ibn Kathir, from the Pact of Umar, right? Uh -huh. Instead of accepting that, you keep going around. Because which you tells lied about me, him too. I did. Yes. Okay, how? He said, uh -huh. right before he quotes that passage, uh -huh. Ibn Kathir says, mm -hmm. this is why Umar issued these these requirements upon the Christians. Okay. And so he says he did it. He didn't say, and then he quotes the passage, and you said, oh, yes, Ibn Kathir just quotes these things. Let me, and who knows whether he's taking them seriously. Let me he explain. states it as fact. Let me explain. He states it as fact. See, th this is why you're not here to learn, and, and you're here to debate. Let no, me, no, no, let no, me no. explain it. Let me explain it, okay? If I brought Ibn Kathir the next week, but you didn't show up, so I mean, I can't just be carrying all my books with me all the time. But if you let me ahead of time, let me know that you're coming, I'll bring you Ibn Kathir. Mm -hmm. When you study Ibn Kathir, when he knows something is authentic, he will say thabata, it is proven from, or fi sahih in the authentic narrations. When he You're knows, talking about the narration, let me, let me, let me finish. Right before let the narration, me, he me, stated it as fact. Let me finish. Okay. okay. Ibn Kathir there says, and this has been narrated by the That's scholars of hadith, before he quotes the pact of Umar. Okay. Now, 
Let me give you some clear. If you're a truth seeker, you will get it now, okay? Get Tafsir ibn Kathir. Are you paying attention now? Dar, Dar ibn Jawzi. Dar ibn Jawzi. This is a print house. You know, uh, there is a scholar of hadith, Abu uh, Saq al Huwaini, who did the takhrij on it. You know what takhrij is? No. Okay. When they check the ahadith, right? I brought the book here. I'll I'm bring not it. talking about the hadith. Hold on, hold on. Okay. When you quoted Umar's pact, I told you without even looking it up that it's weak. Right? I'm not talking now, about Now, when I is, showed you. You didn't bring up I'm the pact of Umar? If you, if you actually go back and listen, uh -huh. I said this is disputed when I first mentioned it. Voices loud. You know it's a weak hadith, right? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Ms. Keen! Ibn Kathir, okay. under the let me, bus let me, again. Let me, let me, Ibn Kathir, let me, let me, let me, under the bus again. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. regarded as reliable. Hold on, hold on, hold on. regarded as reliable. Hold on. Also, you knew it was weak, but you still quoted still the whole not, thing. I'm still <laughs> not talking about it. Okay, I'm the, talking the, about before he quotes that, uh -huh. Ibn Kathir states it as a fact that, Ibn, that uh, Umar did this. And then so, he quotes a passage. So before is, he quotes the passage, he just states where, as fact. Where, where that is that is reference? Where did he quote on Omar doing it? There he's not quoting it. He states it as a fact. Exactly. He does not say it's, it's a fact. He says about Omar's deal. And then he says, Ruya. It has been narrated. If you had checked, and, and, and now it's, it, he's been caught, that he knew oh, yeah. that it was a weak narration. I said it while we And were that's here. why he, I'm hold on, hold on, regarded as reliable. hold on. And then he read the whole thing. I'm saying that's not so what Ibn Kathir Why did you read the whole pact then, when you knew that was disputed? You're still not getting it. Yeah, yeah I'm not, because you're, you're not, changing. You're definitely no, not getting it. No, let me explain it. You were saying, that? you were saying that Ibn, all Ibn Kathir is saying, all he's saying is, yeah, this has been reported. the jizya is humiliating if you refuse to pay. That's clearly and indisputably not what he's saying. Okay. Because uh, after he says that you're humiliated and so on, which by the way is just his commentary on and feel themselves subdued in the Quran. Right. Which the Quran doesn't the Quran doesn't say um, and feel themselves subdued after you after they you rebel against you. Remember the whole ayah when we clarified that already? No, no, no. You, okay. you can't. Anyway, listen. No, 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 no. So, this, 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 this is the problem. This is the problem, right? So you've got Ibn Kathir. Yeah. And he's giving. He's explaining jizya. He's explaining sure. jizya, right? And, and he says it's uh, the the the, un the unbelievers who are paying jizya are going to be miserable and disgraced and humiliated and so on, right? Let, so let me let me just that. he gives that. Bring, bring the ayah. Nine twenty nine. I can quote it for you. No, no, bring it here. So this is the clear Quran. You have to fight those who do not believe in God and the last day, nor comply with what God and his messenger have forbidden, nor embrace the religion of truth from among those who are given the scripture until they pay the tax. Here's the thing. Until they pay the tax, willingly submitting, fully humble. Yes. Yeah. So now, now hold on. Hold on. So when are they humble? When they are forced that they will be paying the jizya. Now here, if you had just picked this up, uh, right? You have three, five, six. Let's read it, right? Taxation system have been existed since the ancient times. There are several references in the Old Testament, and he gives the Old Testament references you're going here with as this well. Commentary over Ibn Kathir? No, no, I'm not. Okay. I'm explaining something. Again, this is the thing, right? So this is uh, Ezra 420, and in the New Testament, Jesus allows paying taxes to Caesar, Luke 2025. 20, Under Islamic rule, all individuals had financial obligations, right? No problem, no problem. With Muslims that. paid zakat, 2.5% of their savings, and non-Muslims, dhimmis, were required to pay jizya tax for protection from foreign enemies. The jizya protection was... From foreign enemies. Sure, that is one of the benefits That's of jizya. Okay. Sure. The jizya was an average of one dinar, 4.25 gold, annually women, men, uh, women, children, and elderly, the clergy and the poor, those who were unable to work were exempt, were not even forced to pay jizya. Those who opted to join the Muslim army were also exempt. Poor dhimmis were supported financially by the state. Muslims, uh, Muslim rulers refused the jizya when they failed to offer protection to their non-Muslim subjects. Now, the point there being, the ayah, when it's talking about fully humble, how is that understood? Ulema, they explain this. Here, it's clearly explained. Now, Ibn Kathir gives his opinion, and with it, he gives some references. One of them, if you had read, 
was about the pact of Umar. But the pact of Umar, as narrated by Ibn, by Ibn Kathir, is a weak, it's not disputed, it's a weak narration. There is a kadir, there is a narrator in the chain that was a liar, right? And that is why Ibn Kathir, in his style of writing, he says there was a pact of Umar, but what has been reported, and the pact that you read, Ibn Kathir says this is what has been reported. He doesn't say this is established. For you to say that Ibn Kathir says that that pact was a fact is not true, right? But the problem here is instead of trying to understand the ayah in reference to other ayats or the wording even, you read out the pact of Umar knowing it's not authentic. And when I told you it's not authentic, you're like, you're throwing him under the bus. You are. Right? Because he, <laughs> when I tell you a weak so, hadith is no. weak, you tell me I'm throwing him under the bus. He states it as fact. Let's read it real quick, right? And, and before, and I'm gonna let you read it, but just one thing. Maybe uh, you. you have to go. I, I, know, I, know, I just want to make a point before okay. you record things, and I'm not here and all that, right? Okay. Which is, this is not my job. Okay. I do this as a volunteer basis. This uh, may be your job. Five o'clock is when my time ends. Every right. time you've taken me over the time. And then even when I stopped recording, you kept recording and tried to act like I wasn't showing. I just want to be clear. It's on my that channel. I, I, you make videos I, on your channel and respond Bro, to stuff. we just have to be honest and, and not do, say I that it, I was I hiding any... No, no. In your title and all of that, you were like, what Uthman didn't show is because our camera died at that time and you were here. We stopped recording. I told you I'm done. I didn't know that. You, now, you could have just taken the clip now, from mine. You, you have, have the clip from mine. six minutes. Okay. Go ahead. Okay, very simple. Allah said, until they pay the jizya, if they do not choose to embrace Islam with willing sure. submission, in defeat and subservience, and feel themselves sure. subdued, disgraced, yeah. humiliated, and belittled. Therefore, Muslims are not so, allowed so, to... So honor. those are not in the ayah. What? The ayah doesn't have those three words, right? This is now, yeah, now you're... Now you're Kathir's commentary. Sure, right. go ahead. So, and, so so, what you, and so your position was, when Ibn Kathir says that, he's describing the people who refused to pay the jizya and therefore they had to course, be forced they had and to humiliated be, by exactly, them. Exactly, right? and yeah. that, that's the thing. When they, when they are All forced... All he's not saying. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Disgraced, humiliated, and belittled. So, so just one, one second, Muslims, one second. Let's just so this, no, no, but, but, but you skipped over the part. This is after you fight, and those that didn't accept, and now you're forcing them to pay jizya, right? It doesn't say that. Read the ayah. Fight them. You fight them. This is Who not again. Who okay, so let Who me explain. Let me explain. Who, it. Who does this say to fight? I'll, I will explain it if you let me speak. Can I speak? Fight. Can those I speak? Do not believe Can I in Allah. Can I speak? <laughs> fight. He, he doesn't want me to speak. You see that? He doesn't want me to speak. You said now, I had six let minutes. Let me, you want me to let me read what he said because he knows it exposes you. I just want the ayah to be read correctly. This is all. This is it. Okay. So. I will, but, but when the thing is that when you have Ahlul Dhimma living in your land, are you fighting them? So this is why he didn't want me to speak, right? No. Thank you. Okay. So the ayah is yeah. for those that you fight. Yeah, you're fighting them for their unbelief. Now, 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 no, pay attention. This is where your lie just got caught, right? When you have, for example, you have Ahlul Dhimma that live in your land, they were born as Ahlul Dhimma, they, they are residents, they, are, they, they live, you don't fight them. There is no humiliation there. There, they pay the jizya in lieu of what you pay as zakat, as a Muslim. This ayah, the reason he was trying to skip the beginning, is for those that you fight. And when you fight them, fight and those now... Fight do not believe. Right? Again, once again, if you do not believe, but you're living in Muslim land, are you being fought? No, you've already, you've, you're already a dhimmi. You, 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 but now, exactly. But it's the dhimmis so now, now, this is the dhimmis you fought. That's why the ayah begins with that. You want to skip the beginning of the ayah because you don't want to give context to your not what listeners. Saying. That, no, re read the beginning of the ayah. Go ahead. The beginning of the ayah. Yeah. Fight those who do not believe so in now, Allah. So now these rulings are going Fight to be those for those. Who do not believe in Allah. So this is going to be the ahlul dhimma. Notice the requirement. Fighting people who do not believe in Allah until they pay the jizya with willing submission and now, themselves to do. So once again. Once again, now, if, no, 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 let, let me just, the, the ayah, I, I, I will let you read it, don't worry. But the context that you're taking away that I want your viewers to be clear about is if you are Ahlul Dhimma and you're not fighting, you're living in the land of the Muslims, this ayah's reference is not about you. The ahkam of Ahlul Dhimma are many, right? But this ayah is for those that fight. When you fight them and subdue them after a war, yes, they will be humbled with the jizya. Go ahead. 
Allah said, until they pay the jizya, if they do not choose to embrace Islam. So you pay the jizya sure. if you don't embrace Islam. With willing so those submission, you fought. in defeat and subservience, and feel themselves subdued, disgraced, yes. humiliated, and belittled. Which is not in the ayah, but go ahead. Therefore, Muslims are not allowed to honor the people of Dimma. So that's, sure. that's, that's the, those are your dimmies. Not allowed to honor the people of Dimma or elevate them above Muslims. For they, who? The people of Dimma are miserable, disgraced, and humiliated. Muslim recorded from Abu Huraira that the Prophet said, do not initiate the Salaam, blah, blah, blah. We've gone through that before. No, 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 wait, wait. Don't skip over it. Don't skip That's over it. it. You see that? <laughs> you want to skip, right? So, so now... Do you want to go through? We've talked I, I about do, it. I do, I do, I'm not I do. I'm your explanation. I'm okay, not good. disputing so you your agree. explanation. Yeah. No, I don't agree, but... No, he just said, I don't dispute it, and he I said, don't, I don't agree. I don't agree. No, I don't agree with, don't agree with it. Just because keep going, bro. Ibn keep going. Ibn Umar, Ibn Umar, gave the Allah greeting of peace to someone, found out it was, a, it was a Christian, and then said, give me my greeting back. So that was not... Did, that was did not you know, did you know the hadith, there. There. actually, where about the Jews and all of that? You didn't, you didn't get any of that? This is why... When they tried to change the wording? Notice what he you know, says. Go ahead. This is why... So this is Ibn Kathir's commentary. Uh -huh. This is why the leader of the faithful, Umar bin al-Khattab, may Allah be pleased with him, demanded his well-known conditions be met by the Christians. These conditions that ensured their continued humiliation, degradation, and disgrace. Right? Sure. That's before he gives... He quotes the Hadith. The scholars of Hadith narrated from Abraham. Uh -huh. Then he gives it, right? No. Before he gives hold it. On, no, hold this, on, hold this on, is not, hold this on. Is, this is a statement of fact. Sure, you read this it, This right? is why. Notice everyone, is Ibn Kathir here saying that this is a false story, that Umar never did this, or is he taking this as fact? He did not say that. This is why the leader of the faithful, Umar, Umar bin al-Khattab, May Allah be pleased with it. I mean, demanded his well known conditions be met by the Christians. Oh, okay, these conditions okay, okay. that ensure their continued humiliation, degradation, and disgrace. Yeah, no, no, then he gives a hadith, right? And he says, Oh, we hadith. Wait, wait, Ibn what, what does he say? Is, quoting, is stating this as fact. Even if you want to say, Hey, Ibn Kathir didn't know what he was talking about, get under the bus, Ibn Kathir. Did don't not know say what that. About. Did not. Even if you want to say, man he's, again. Even if you want to say he's straw man he again. He states it as fact that Umar did this. He states it as fact. So if you're saying his position is actually, no, 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 this only applies. This only applies if Christians refuse to pay the jizya. The story he gives, even if you want to throw it out, is about Christians who were willingly paying jizya. And he states it as fact that Umar did this. So my only point here, I'm not even saying that this is, are this you, is are correct. You, are you done? I'm saying, no, just, just if I'm, you were I'm letting right, you finish. If you were right, which you're not, but if you were right about Jizya, and you were to say, Ibn Kathir didn't know what he was talking about, he's wrong. I never I said no, that. No, I'm saying, if you're Straw man again. No, I'm saying, if you were saying that. Because which I'm I not. I don't believe Ibn Kathir is right about everything. And I agree with you. Have, anytime you have human beings involved in, in something, they're going to make mistakes. So if you wanted to say he's wrong, he had the wrong opinion, I would be fine with that. The problem is you're saying that Ibn Kathir is saying what you're, what you're saying, and there's no way he's saying that. There's no, it's impossible for him to be saying what you're saying. Can I speak now? Yep. Uh, and then I told you time is up, but I'm going to we'll, respond. I'll just take one minute at the end, because there's yep. a problem here. All right. Now, the first thing is that the beginning of the ayah sense the context that these are Ahlu Dhimma that fought. Right? You keep trying to skip over that because you don't want to give the context for your viewers, right? Ibn Kathir's tafsir is going to be in context to the ayah, right? That's why he's talking about that particular ayah. I keep telling you this, but you don't want to listen because you don't want to learn. If you want to know the rulings of Ahlu Dhimma or Jizya, then study a fifth book that will bring all the different ayat, all the different hadith, and all the different circumstances. When Umar ibn Khattab, pay attention now. When Umar ibn Khattab went to Sham and he fought the Byzantines, was this people of Dimma that were just there or were this people that were fought by the Muslim armies with Khalid ibn Walid, the Battle of Mutta, what happened in Urdan, you can go and check till today. This is the context that you are skipping that Ibn Kathir is saying that no doubt, and I have no doubt that Umar ibn Khattab and the Muslim armies fought the Romans and defeated them. And after that battle, he set conditions on them. This is well known. 
But what were those conditions? We have many different narrations that mention different conditions. When we teach fiqh books, we bring those narrations, we look at the authenticity of them, and then we say these ones have been authentically reported, these ones are in weak hadith, and this would clarify your issues if you really wanted to know the truth. What Ibn Kathir says, Ibn Umar ibn Khattab, Amir al-Mu'mineen, radiallahu anhu, no doubt he won, he set condition on them means that he fought and they were humiliated but defeated and he set those conditions. But then he says, and it has been reported, if you knew anything about Ibn Kathir or Tafsir or Hadith, you would have known that when it's an authentic narration that he takes as a fact, he would have said Thabata or Saha, authentic. When he says it has been reported, that means he's pointing out to a weakness. So the wordings of those conditions is a weak Hadith. I brought Ibn Kathir to show you. If you want, I'll bring it again. Look at the Takhreej, look at the checking. All Ibn Kathir is saying is that the fact is that Umar Radiyan did establish jizya on Ahlul Dhimma. And from the context and history, go look it up. Those were Dhimma that fought. If you are a Dhimmi who, are, who is not fighting in the Muslim lands, you have rights, you, have, you, have, you can even practice your own religion, you can use your own divorce laws and marital laws, you, can, you, you pay your jizya as the Muslims pay your zakat. But if you are going to fight the Muslims and there is a war and you are defeated, then no doubt that jizya will be a humiliation for the defeated. If we look at the conditions that were put on the Germans after their defeat in World War II, they were humiliating. They were meant to be humiliation or before, after World War I. And that's, that's the thing. When you have a victory, no doubt, either those that become Muslim or, or join the Muslim army, no problem. No jizya on them. No humiliation on them. You want to come? If the Muslim state is going to be fought and they're going to be victorious, then no doubt those that lose will be humiliated. There is no doubt to that. Umar ibn Khattab's battles against the Romans, I have caught it. You can look at the series, you can get the references, look at Tabari and Sa'ad and all of that. Those were wars. But Ahlul Dhimma that are born or raised or willingly come to the Muslim lands, this is not about them being fought. They will also have jizya. But their jizya is in lu, as we read from here, and as the ulema of fiqh have explained, in lu of the zakat that is paid by the Muslim. And you already said you had no problem with that. Thank you for your time. If you want to come back, you didn't do your homework. You had an assignment you want me to, to bring. Come back with, with, come back with Muhammad you. slaves. You had that homework I to bring not, me action. See, now he doesn't I, remember it. I'm I glad say, you have it on tape. I say this with everyone as my witness. If we said it, I forgot. Yeah, well, <laughs> Long then you're a weak narrator in hadith to begin with. Can, we can't even accept can hadith me. from you. You can show me that. I will. The I will. I'll, I'll get you the uh, video two, clip. Two no problem. I'll, two things. I'll keep this short. So I, I and, and I have my homework to present, which you didn't even ask because you don't want to know. You just want to make content. You asked me as homework we're to get look up. Topic? You don't want my homework? No, I'm saying if you want, if you no, want no, to continue, I'm, we I'm can done. Continue. I was just going to present let's, my homework. Let's wrap this up. Let's ra let, let's go ahead and wrap this up. If you want to, okay. if you want to talk later, I'll talk later, man. Okay, look, my, I'm I'll just going to. I, I know you got nothing to do, but I got things to do. Okay, so let me just wrap you, up this. Let me, let me just say the homework, and then you can wrap up, and then I'll wrap up. We're done. Your homework you asked me for was to find a Christian scholar that used biblical verses to justify violence. Straw man. He didn't. Straw man. All right. If we have it on tape, you can find all kinds. If we find of, it on tape, if we have it on video, yes. then you know who the and liar is you today. Can go. And then you could go. And I said, if you find a Christian who's quoting a command of Jesus or the New Testament, and he says this is calling for us to go around killing and slaughtering people, he's either crazy or he's got an agenda. That's what I said. <laughs> Didn't say you couldn't find one. All right. Of so, course you can find so one. So now, of course, Reverend Michael Beret, Reverend Paul. Had Hill that now, have written entire books on this, this he's throwing the them under the bus now. This is the he's saying they're crazy. Anybody that doesn't agree with him on Christian well, law is now crazy. Says he has to go. go ahead. I, I do have to, to go. Up, yeah. When go ahead. When wrap I up. try to wrap up, then we got to continue. Wrap up. So I did my fact, homework. We could have a debate. We could have a debate on that if you want to actually debate. But look at what we have over and over again. If you want to learn about Islam, Quran's just going to lead you astray. No, nope. never said that. Straw man again. And well, it does. Every time I quote them, they say I'm getting it wrong. So it's not good enough. You have to actually go to a scholar. Now, here's the thing. Here's the problem I pointed out with that, right? 
If I go to a scholar, how do I know he's trustworthy? He says, oh, well, look at his credentials and so on. How do I know I can trust those credentials? How do I know this university is better than that? I have to have something I can compare it with. I have to be able to have sources and say, this person quotes sure. things accurately. This person is, is being deceptive. So if I go up to a scholar and I say, look, here's what the site, here's what this website, this this uh, this Tafsir website says when they give me the quotation, they're Shias. And then I go look it up and they're not Shias. Or if I say, here's a quotation from Abdul, Abu Dawud. Ah, you moron, that's not an Abu Dawud. And I know it's an Abu Dawud because I read it 50 times. Right? Or if I bring up some differences, some differences of opinion among the scholars of Islam on apostasy laws, and he says, no, there are no differences. And then I'm getting this from another scholar, right? If over and over and over again, how do, how do I know who to believe here, right? Especially if someone's constantly throwing scholars under the bus and saying things that are completely false. So how do I know I trust this guy versus someone else? And it looks like you would say, well, go trust someone else then. Point is, what, if I, go to the, what if I go to that person mm -hmm. and I start asking him questions and it doesn't seem like it lines up with what's in the sources? Sure. It seems to me, if you take a Christian or, or whatever, <laughs> Christian... Unless Buddhist, he disagrees, then he's crazy. Because Christian, <laughs> Buddhist, Muslim, yeah. whatever. If the person is saying something, it seems you go back to the text. Of course. To make sure it lines back up. Back to the text. Back Not that you text. go to the text without going to the scholar. See? You see no, now? No, you no, see no. that? Look, you go to the you scholar. didn't go to a you scholar. Go to scholar. You went, throwing, you went online and Google. He starts throwing other scholars. Finish what you're saying. Finish. You finish. Know that. finish. You know Maududi finish. writes a book. Mauduti says one thing, you say something else, Mauduti goes under the bus. Finish. Ibn Kathir says one thing, you say something else, Ibn Kathir goes under the bus. You didn't understand Ibn Kathir. Scholar, I tried to I explain go... it right now. Oh, I understand Ibn Kathir. You do not. You either understand him. You don't even know his name, bro. You've Look, never studied Ibn you Kathir. I have. You either don't understand Good. him or you're lying about it. Those are the only two possibilities. What's his actual name? I didn't, you don't know Ibn Kathir. No What's his style of I writing? Can read words off What's his, the page. You, you are reading read a Google website in English, not understanding That's the style the of writing. That's the Darul Salam. Oh, no, the, when you say Ru'ya, let me explain this now, okay? Are, are you done speaking? Are you done speaking? He's going to tell me when Ibn Kathir finish, quotes this finish passage something. later. He states it as fact. This is why Umar bin, bin al Khattab established his well-known conditions. No He's doubt. saying it's well-known that he established this. On Which home, he fought. The story he gives is, for, is from Christians who came up and said, we gladly submit as Incorrect. Enemies. Incorrect. Historically, you're lying. You want me to pull it up again? No, no, no. Hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. The, that's the thing that you're not getting. When, I'm getting it. No, you're not. Are, are you done speaking? <laughs> are you done with your little wrap-up? Like you every are, are you, are you, as play to shape Are you, are you done, are you done you with like. your wrap-up? I don't know. If you're, unless, no, no, if you're gonna finish, say something wrong. Finish your wrap-up. Mm. So this is a problem. Okay, got you. This is a problem. Yeah. Finish your wrap-up, you you're Quran, going in a circle. You read the Quran, you read the Hadith, you go up to a scholar, you go up to a da'i, and he says a ton of stuff that, do, that does not line up with the passage at all. Just doesn't line up, right? It's like, I mean, you're, fami you're familiar with this. I don't think you're in this camp. But it's like it's in the past, like 10 years ago, we go up and we, we say, what about Aisha? You know, nine years old when Muhammad had sex with her. They go, no, she wasn't nine. She was 18. And we're looking at the passage. We're going, there's no way this, that this guy is right. But these are like these are like Dawid Da'is and apologists and scholars and so on. And they're saying, no, she was 18, right? We're sitting here going, okay, the text says one thing. He says, something else sure. who do i believe here i'm going with the text i'm going gotcha. with the text right so let me so if this keeps happening if this keeps happening every time i go up to a scholar he starts saying no those are she is no you can't trust that guy no you can't trust this guy no that's not in sunan abu Dawud. i keep looking it up and wait a minute this guy's saying things are wrong that are wrong either he doesn't know what he's talking about as much as he thinks or he's being deceptive either way i can't trust everything this guy says i have to go back to the text but as soon as i go back to the text you say no my good man you have to go to a scholar uh, are you it's done? This are, 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 are you, are you it's done this speaking? a regress problem. Are you done speaking? Would you wrap? Up? I don't know. No, no, no. <laughs> what do you mean you don't know? If you're done with your wrap up, then I'm going to speak. It's I don't want to interrupt. Wrap up you. without saying anything false, I will not interrupt. <laughs> and without well, well, all your falseness, then I can't, I can't stop that. But this is what I'm going to say. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm ending. So you can keep recording or talking if you want after this. But don't try to act like you know I did, I stopped recording or something like this, right? I have explained this to you repeatedly, but I'm going to wrap this up again. 
that you didn't go to a scholar to begin with, you went to online resources, made assumptions that fit your agenda, and then came and then tried to debate around it. You didn't go to the Muatta Imam Malik, you didn't go to the books of Maliki Fiqh, you didn't look at the Khilaf. You tried to find anything that would find a reference that you could try to use, not understanding even the style of writing. I'm not saying take a scholar's opinion blindly. Always look at when we give our adilla, our proofs, we give evidences, right? What I tried to explain to you, if you want to understand the issue of jizya, I have videos in durus. If you don't want to watch mine, no problem. There are other ulema and scholars and tulab alam. I'm just a beginning student of knowledge. You can find somebody much more knowledgeable than me. And if you really want to sincerely know, you can go up to them, you can talk to them, you can find out. And when they give you then their understanding from different sources. Feel free to get those sources and check them. But you go to the scholar and understand the concept first, then you can check those sources, you can bring it back to them and, and try to understand what they're saying, how they're saying. When you find things that you are already trying to use, not knowing the authenticity, not knowing the style of writing. Nobody's throwing Ibn Kathir under the bus. You don't understand the style of writing. I explained it. Ibn Kathir is talking about the context of an ayah. You have to look at the beginning of the ayah that this is about a battle. Umar ibn Khattab radiyan, who's well-known battles. And you can look at history, go to Tabari. If you don't have the references, I'll bring you the books and you can go home, scan them and read them yourself. That this were, these were battles. This was at the end of battles. And when he put conditions, no doubt, and if you go to Ibn Abi Shayba or any of these books that record these, they give difference in narrations. I taught the life of Umar ibn Khattab. I taught this subject. There's a video years before you even came out here, so don't think that I'm worried about you. And I gave the different conditions and the different narrations, and I gave those that are authentic, and I explained those that were in weak ahadith. Ibn Kathir is just pointing out the fact that this did happen, but the, what were the conditions? This narration itself, Ibn Kathir, if you understood how he writes, when he says it has been narrated, and the fact that you knew it was disputed tells me that you knew that, but you were still trying to use it to make a point. I said it at the yes, beginning. exactly, but then you depended on When I told you it's weak, you were like, oh, you're throwing Ibn Kathir under the bus. Straw so man. when you went, did you not say Ibn I Kathir? I quoted anyway. it to show how Ibn Listen. Kathir was using it. He Ibn Kathir it says that it he did not say this is a fact. The actual narration, he did not say it's a fact. He said this has been reported by the scholars of not Hadith. The narration. He stated before the narration. No doubt. Said. And I have said this he now said repeatedly. Well known, well known, well known that Omar Umar won. Well known conditions. But what? And, and now, listen, you're, now you're lying listen. about Ibn Kathir as far as, as, far as uh, this being after battle. He was fighting this offensively. Listen. This is the Umar, historical background of Surah 9 this, verse 29. This is, this is, this is the ignorance of it's David Wood, right? It's the background of Surah 9 the, verse 29. The, the fight Muhammad said no the, more, no the more, fights, no more, listen, no when more mushrikun the, come into, the, the come into fights, the pilgrimage. Listen. And it says the Quraysh worried that this would hurt their, where, where is that hurt from? their trade. Where is that from? from Ibn Kathir. Show me that. Go ahead. You already read it. You no, no, show up? me about the Quraysh and, and, and people not coming and not getting wealth. It's show me. Kathir. Where in Ibn Kathir? It's not in Ibn Kathir. Find it. I'm the biggest liar in the world. Biggest liar in the world. Got I'll it. Show you exactly listen, what it says. Listen. Ibn Kathir says. Listen. Ibn Kathir says. The battles. The background of the that passage, battles. Surah 9, verse 28. Surah 9, verse 29. And th there's even, a, there's, there's even, it's in Ibn Kathir's Battles of the Prophet. Me, it's PDF. You can get it online. Let me explain something. Or you can buy it. Let me. Listen, you're talking about PDF, Ibn, I've taught that history. When you have the battles with the Romans, the battles with Romans. the Romans, how did they start? According to Ibn Kathir, the, the, the Quraysh were worried that saying that the pagans can no longer take the pilgrimage to Mecca is going to hurt their, hurt their prophets from trade. And so they're worried. So you don't know about Tabuk? And then it says, and then, yeah, this is what led to Tabuk according okay. to Ibn Kathir. And, the, and so, Ibn, so Ibn Kathir says that after that, uh -huh. that you shouldn't worry about losing money here because Allah can enrich you, can enrich you if He wills. Next verse, how's He going to do that? Fight those who do not believe in Allah. No. And it says, after Allah revealed, Surah 9, verse 29, okay. after He revealed that, yes. then Muhammad decided we're going to go fight the Romans so now, to invite me, them to Islam and make them pay jizya if they let don't. Me, let me explain this again. You're going to explain it in a way no, that... No, but you don't understand. 
You're when you say, look oh, at about to attack Arabia. See, the he knows Romans, it. He knows it. I know he knows this it. is what you guys say. Look, look, the look. The Romans are about to march hundreds of miles into the middle of the, the desert. Clear which they never ahadith. Do. The clear Where ahadith on this Where? that are established. Musanif ibn Abi Shayba. I taught it. Say? What's it say? That the, the Romans had an army Inside. that they were preparing. That they were the preparing. That they were preparing to attack Medina. Let this me is established. Musan of Ibn Abi Shaiba, we'll get it for you. Give it to me. Okay, we'll get it. I'll bring it. I'll bring you the actual okay. book. Right? Okay. And then the lie of David would be no. shown.